Guys, I'm finally bringing you another vein gameplay, but this vein gameplay was so freaking smooth. And plus, I was rocking the Sentinel vein skin, which is the legendary vein skin. And let me be honest with you, that skin is phenomenal. I do, I don't know how I feel about the ultimate though when you're casting it. I don't like how it covers much of your screen, but the skin is absolutely amazing. So you're going to enjoy seeing that as well. But vein is super fun and ranked, and you want to know why? It's because vein finally hits hard. And the reason why she hits so hard is mainly because of this build. So let's get right on into it with the items. So the first item is still Blade of the Rune King. It gives her amazing stats, especially for that drag fight or even at level five. I mean, the attack speed, the uh, attack damage and the physical vamp are, are all really good on her. But this is the key, guys. This is the life changing item on Vayne, which is the Solari Charge Blade. This item, I mean, is broken on almost all ADCs. Um, the ADCs that don't build it are the ones that are bad. So the Sunburst passive on this, on this, well, the Sunburst proc is just absolutely broken with this item. And, and the reason why on Vayne is so good, because when you're rolling, that's a sun, that's a radiance, uh, stack if you use your skill two that's a radiant stack if you use your ultimate that's radiant stacks if you use your freaking skill three it's a radiant stack but you're always going to be rolling and that's going to be a sunburst uh proc every single time uh which is really really good that's more true damage that's more uh crit damage which is super key next up you're going to have that infinity edge which helps make those critical strikes deal a lot more damage and plus it gives you more flat just attack damage in general the stasis and guardian angel are both just utility for vein and team fights because she is quite squishy and she could get herself in bad situations and just in case you got the stasis or the guardian angel to back up your play and lastly the static shift helps you get that 100 percent uh crit rate and i mean this item really helps you burst down squishy targets now for the runes i like running conquer brutal hunter titan and sweet tooth these are pretty standard runes and i wouldn't really switch any of these runes up because you need brutal for the early game and now for the spells you can run heal and flash or you can run barrier and flash depending on what your support runs and like i said guys this gameplay was quite smooth so i hope you guys do enjoy and also you get to see me play against a thrash so who doesn't love that if you're new here make sure to sub up we do daily wild earth adc content with that let's get right on into the gameplay guys i'm playing some freaking vein I don't think I've done a vein video with the Sentinel skin, but man, I love all the legendary skins in, in Wild Rift really. So I'm excited uh, to be actually recording this one. But the one complaint I had to be honest with, with this skin is that when you use the ultimate, I actually kind of feel like it's a little hard to see sometimes because the effect is kind of covering most of your screen. But that's what that, that's was my initial thoughts. Why is that Thresh playing the way? playing the wave okay guys if you're the enemy adc support you do not want to shove the wave like this because it just allows the uh enemy adc like me right now to just farm it for free i don't need to trade like it's just not beneficial oh my god i did miss a minion though we do not want to get pulled and against corky you got to be very careful i mean this guy doesn't have pull but you got to watch out for that flay now he does have his pull up okay he does look like he missed i don't know why my nami needs to just chillax like it's okay you're gonna be all right just don't auto auto trade with uh thresh like that we're gonna ward this bush and i can't really trade with corky either so um yeah okay it looks like thresh lands a good one right there i'm keeping my roll Boom, we get that. I have my Condemn. Okay, not bad. Who's their jungler? Their jungler is Ramus, and Ramus is topside, so we want to shove this in and reset. Oh my god. Oh my god! Let's go. We need to get this uh, wave under tower. Oh my god, he has the same emote as well. Okay, good. Just had to make sure wave's under tower. Okay, this guy's gonna be annoying. Bro. Good thing the wave went under his tower. That's all that really matters. Okay, we ended up getting a kill onto Corky and Thresh. Thresh has no fly. Oh, the only problem is we can't help him at the scuttle. Okay, that was actually a really important flash. 
Uh, I mean, th honestly, there's nothing we could do for that honeycomb. I, I mean, uh, for that that scuttle. I mean, we got two kills, so what we did was worth it. We just we just couldn't rotate for it. So almost get this. I mean, Thresh has no flash. Neither does Quirky. I'm just gonna focus Thresh. I popped my ultimate kind of early. It was not a good ultimate, actually. That was not a good ultimate, but. To be honest, I thought, honestly thought I would have killed them there, but all right, let's just deny this captain minion. We're going to shove this in and then we want to go for a reset. Okay. Whoop. All right, we're going to reset. I'm going to ping to recall. They probably have vision on me recalling. This Corky is going to want to shove out the wave too. We need to start thinking about what type of boots we want to opt for here. Taking a look at this, Corky does. We're gonna go. We're gonna go tenacity, tenacity boots, not for the tenacity, but actually for the ten, uh, ten magic resistance that you get. It gets a lot of value here because Corky's AP damage and Diana and Timo are both AP damage. So it's a it's a bunch of value overall. Hopefully our Gragas comes back. I like this wave being held right here because Corky is resetting. Oop, we're gonna ward right here. I'm just gonna freeze and we're gonna wait for our our uh, support to come back. The first dragon will be mountain, so we don't need to be too worried about actually fighting this mountain. We have actually really good wards. But I mean, I think they're gonna get dra nice. I was able to deny the CS. Orky did not go get his package, which is interesting. Oh, I need a flash, actually. Oh my god, that was actually a freaking support diff. Oh my god, my Nami is a freaking legend, guys. I should have died right there. I don't know what exactly happened, but like... Dude, I ended up losing that, like, really badly. Oh my god, that was a major support gap. I mean, I don't want to- I want to reset so I can help for this drag. Oh my god. I just need to set up for this dragon, but wow. I- I don't even know, dude. Why did I- oh, I don't know. That Corky was actually destroying me. Dude, Corky does absolutely insane amount of damage, so... Oh no. Our Ziggs is actually a really good Ziggs player, guys. By the way, just a little side note. Oh. I mean, they're all roaming. That means I gotta just go for turret. Mm. Oh, I canceled my auto there. I mean, I can't out roam them right now because Corky does have package, so pretty clear that they want to look for a fight. Roll into this wall. Just do as much turret damage as possible. We got a good amount of plates, but we're not going to get anything more. The rotating down. We're gonna hug the sidewall here. I think they're on dragon. Are they? Okay, they're not. I mean, I can fight this here. I mean, Corky. Nice, we're gonna focus Diana. Dude, this is so sus. I'm out of energy right now. Dude, I'm I have so much gold though. I'm trying to just farm up and get that charge blade. Okay, let's reset. Oh my god, the auto attacks on the skin are beautiful though. Dude, if I am able to get that first turret gold, though, that'd be so huge. They have vision of me recalling in there. Oh, I'm so close for charge blade, guys. I'm literally 200 gold off. They're going to be able to start this up. What's going to be our front line for this fight? Just Zinzao. I mean, we kind of want to stay back. We don't want to overcommit to anything. We are able to poke him well over this wall.
Dude, if only I can lantern. Oh, I can't believe that he actually lives that, man. Uh, okay. Damn. I feel like that, that should have been... Oh, I should have killed them all there, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, guys, this, um, this, this, uh... This Ziggs is actually a really good player, so I kind of got lucky with my teammates this game. Okay. Boop. Let's get this turret. Boop. All right, beautiful, guys. We get the charge blade. I mean, at this point, guys, I literally am going to melt everyone. Okay. Boom. Let's get the charge blade. Get the stasis. Mm, Corky's pushing another wave down here. We're going to go get it. Uh... I don't think Corky's gonna put damage, but I just need to catch this wave. This is like, what, 200 gold right here? Oh, this is a cannon wave too, so it's actually a good amount of gold. Uh, hopefully our teammates don't throw up there. Yeah, we do need to group with our team. I don't necessarily like being here, but... Oh wow, I did so much damage. Dude, I mean, our team's so fed. Ooh. I mean, I'm gonna get hit by Teemo's blind. <laughs> oh my god, we just demolished those guys like they were nothing right there. Beautiful. Alright, let's, uh, let's go up. Maybe we can assist the... Our freaking Ziggs here. Bro, what? No, I got Teemo blinded. Ah! No, that was such a wait. Thresh got the gold, so it's actually going to be okay. But damn, Timo Loki kind of came in the clutch right there. Ooh, that was good. That was good. That was actually a big throw, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, why does everyone everyone have flash loader? Ooh. Please live. Please live. Okay. Guys, Stormy's actually a Timo main, by the way. So this guy is actually a pretty good Timo. I think I think I deserve to die there since I did e I did hit him with the, the penguin question mark. Uh Corky still does not have gold for charge blade. Like I'm almost positive on that. On that, actually, maybe not. Maybe the assist gold was enough. Oh no, Ziggs. Ziggs, no, guys. So here's the thing, though. The problem, the main problem with our comp is that we're very squishy. I'm, I'm rotating up here. Okay, where's Teemo, boys? Can we get a Teemo check? Nice. I mean, if our jungler's up, can we just do Baron? I could literally blow up Baron. Dude, guys, Vayne does Omega damage to freaking Baron. You guys see this damage? Oh, God. This is okay right now. I just need to condemn... Okay, nice. I got the kill onto Diana. I'm dipping out though. Thank you, Zinzao, for giving me that. Ziggs, you should be alive, buddy. Guys, I'm telling you, this Ziggs is actually a good player, but honestly, it might be kind of hard for him to play into that comp. They could take the lantern into him right now. Please don't tell me this guy has flash. Okay, thank God. You are on a killing spree. Woo! Don't reset in front of me. Do not reset in front of me, baby. Or you will get demolished. Hmm. Let's just leave. They're all up. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell is going on?
Woo! My mechanics are on fire right now, boys. Let's end this thing. Boom, baby. Boom. Let's freaking go. A nice, smooth sailing vein game are always the most satisfying, guys. Ugh. Our Nami did make a clutch god play there, though, in that one fight and bot, uh, which could have changed the whole pace of this game. So, wow. 15 and 1. Legendary, most kills, most gold, triple kill, highest champion di damage, highest turret damage, highest team fight participation, uh, 26k damage. I mean, if you compare the damage across all the charts, it's pretty crazy. The fact that Teemo did as much damage as Ziggs is low key kind of scary, but. I guess that's what Teemo mains are able to do. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you're new here, make sure to sub up. We're on the road to 50k subs, and we upload daily Wild Rift ADC content. And with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.